born out of blood. They'll never know it. Because you won't be alive to tell them. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the best crafted and most exhilarating action moments from Marvel films. Spoilers will follow. I can't wait to kill one more Spider Man. Number 20 Logan and Wade fight the Deadpool core, Deadpool and Wolverine. Set to Madonna's Like a Prayer, Wade and Logan tear their way through a horde of Deadpool variants. Bullets and limbs fly as the action unfolds in an R-rated one-take. With a hundred Deadpools involved in the mix, there are of course a few laughs thrown in as well. Come on! Yeah, I blew it. After all that, the only thing they're gonna remember is that god off of this mount! The scene is so chaotic that you'll probably have to go back and rewatch it a few times to catch every detail. What really sets it apart is the inclusion of Wolverine's mask. After years of waiting, fans got to see Hugh Jackman don the cow, and its debut was absolutely worth the wait. Holy shit! You save the good stuff for special occasions? Number 19, Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin, Spider-Man. <laughs> While Deadpool has delivered plenty of violence, Sam Raimi proved that a PG-13 fight can be just as intense. In this final battle, Green Goblin savagely beats Spider-Man with visceral camera work and slow-mo to make us feel every hit. Few scenes capture the raw brutality that a man with super strength can unleash. It's not just the Green Goblin we're talking about. When push comes to shove, Peter fights back and delivers an equally vicious beatdown. The fight finally ends when Norman gets killed by his own glider a fitting conclusion to this dark and gritty finale. Godspeed, Spider-Man. <gasps> oh. Number 18, Spaceship Fight, Guardians of the Galaxy. The stone is in the furthest pod. Bring it down! Despite being a relatively obscure Marvel title, Guardians was a huge hit in large part due to a variety of exhilarating and action-packed moments. However, while the all-out brawl scenes such as the prison break serve to provide viewers with stimulating visuals, they can never quite compare to the intimacy of a one-on-one -on -one bout between sisters. You are a disappointment, sister. Out of all our siblings, I hated you least. Nebula, please. If Ronan gets this stone, he'll kill us all. Opting to settle their sibling rivalry once and for all, Gamora and Nebula engage in intense bladed combat aboard the Dark Aster. After a hole is blown into the wall of the ship, Nebula finds herself hanging on for dear life. But rather than siding with her sister, she decides to end things her way. Nebula! Sister, help us fight Ronan. You know he's crazy! I know you're both crazy. No! Number 17, Spider-Man takes down the Kingpin. Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. Nope. Sorry, that's cheating. With the Spider-Gang back in their home dimensions, Miles is left to fight Wilson Fisk alone. Fortunately, his newfound confidence gives him the edge he needs to hold his own. Their battle is full of swift movement and vibrant colors, bringing a comic book aesthetic we haven't seen in other Spider-Man films. There are even onomatopoeias and impact frames to punctuate the hits. I am stopping this right now. Ah! Most of them come from Kingpin at first, but with a bit of motivation from his family, Miles lands the final blow, proving that Spider-Man always gets back up. Because you know what? No matter how many times I get hit, I always get back up. Number 16. Contest of Champions, Thor Ragnarok. We know each other. He's a friend from work. 
Although the Hulk and Thor have fought before, their gladiatorial match is the main event. Forced to fight in the Grand Masters arena, Thor tries to get out of it by calming his friend down. This, of course, hilariously backfires. Thor then tries to get through to Hulk the old-fashioned way. I know you're in there, Banner. I'll get you out. He's surprisingly able to stand his ground with an oversized hammer, but the Jay Giant eventually pins him down. Then, in one of the film's biggest reveals, Thor summons lightning powers to even the playing field. Unfortunately, the Grandmaster cuts the game short, just when things were starting to ramp up. Number 15, Wolverine vs. Lady Deathstrike, X2, X-Men United. Holy shit. These two bladed mutants get right to the point. The X-Men's most fierce combatant meets his match when pitted against Lady Deathstrike. Most fans remember this scene for its brilliant martial arts choreography and the fact that Wolverine comes face to face with another adamantium enhanced mutant, one who would have bested him if not for his healing abilities. But while Deathstrike certainly leaves her mark, nobody beats Wolverine in a night fight. While Nightcrawler's White House breach scene earlier in the film is certainly memorable, watching Deathstrike and Logan clash their animatium claws is a highlight of the series as a whole. Number 14, Hulkbuster vs. Hulk, Avengers Age of Ultron. All right, everybody, stand down. Have you ever had a fight with a friend who can transform into a 1,000-pound embodiment of rage and destruction? Well, Tony Stark has. Any scene that involves the Hulk on a rampage calls for a powerful and loud visuals, and this scene provides that in spades. Go to sleep, go to sleep, go to sleep. Equipped with his Hulkbuster suit, Tony tries everything to subdue the out-of-control Bruce Banner before he levels an entire city. Using his trademark witty quips and banter, Tony tries desperately to save Banner from himself and the judgment of the general public. I'm sorry. Number 13, Expressway Fight, Deadpool. I got places to be, a face to fix, and oh, bad guys to kill. There are a number of tried and true ways to build an intro sequence in a superhero movie. And then there's Deadpool's way. On the mark with the mouth's quest for vengeance, he encounters a troop of henchmen traveling down a freeway in an SUV and decides to give them all a taste of his maximum effort. The entire scene works as both visual eye candy as well as a comical delight, staying true to the character's nature. The film's willingness to make fun of itself complements the over-the-top violence of the scene, which also successfully sets the tone for the rest of the movie. Shit. Did I leave the stove on? Number 12, The High Evolutionary Ship, Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. With thousands trapped on the ship of the High Evolutionary, the Guardians stay to make sure no one is left behind. The only problem is the small army of Hellspawn and guards in their way. With some teamwork and an epic soundtrack, they make it through in a stunning one-take sequence. Every member of the team gets their chance to shine. From Drax laying the smackdown to Nebula blasting foes with her cyborg abilities. While the previous films had impressive action, this scene perfectly captures just how effective the family of misfits is. <laughs> Number 11, Captain Bucky versus Iron Man, Captain America, Civil War. This isn't gonna change what happened. I don't care. He killed my mom. This two-on-one showdown is the film's true climax. After learning that the Winter Soldier killed his parents, 
Iron Man becomes hellbent on making him pay. Of course, Captain America steps in to protect Bucky from his fellow Avenger, which leads to all three of them duking it out. <laughs> Watching these heroes turn against each other is a heartbreaking spectacle. It's especially hard to see Bucky lose his arm and Cap nearly deliver a fatal blow. The fight concludes on a somber note, with Steve leaving behind both his shield and friendship with Tony. Number 10, Spider-Man Assemble, Spider-Man No Way Home. I was in the Avengers. The Avengers? Yeah. That's great. Thank you. What is that? Wait, you don't have the Avengers? Is that a band? Are you in a band? When the first teaser dropped, fans couldn't wait to see if Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield would cross over into the MCU. The three Spider-Men more than deliver, giving us a team up for the ages. From their web slinging teamwork to the hilarious banter, the final battle at the Statue of Liberty has just about everything fans could hope for. There were even callbacks to music and dialogue from past Spider-Man films. How are you? Trying to do better. To this day, we still get emotional when Peter 3 rescues MJ. There's also the moment when Peter 2 stops his fellow Spider-Man from killing Norman Osborn, which felt like a perfect passing of the torch. <laughs> Number 9, Quicksilver at the Pentagon, X-Men Days of Future Past. There is another version of this scene where Quicksilver saves an entire school of mutants, and it's pretty incredible. However, it doesn't top his initial introduction to the franchise. During Magneto's Pentagon breakout, armed guards hold the mutants at gunpoint. Little did they know that they were up against one of the most powerful Marvel characters, and we're not talking about Wolverine. If I could save time in a bottle, the first thing that I'd like to do Set to Jim Croce's time in a bottle, Quicksilver uses his super speed to take them all down. Everything you see in this scene is a technical achievement in itself. The drops of water and floating pots and pans all appear to be moving in slow motion as Peter finds increasingly humorous ways of knocking out the guards. Number eight, freeway attack. Captain America, the Winter Soldier. The second entry in the Captain America series is among the best films the genre has to offer and is filled with memorable action scenes, including Nick Fury being ambushed by a team of Hydra soldiers. But the scene in which the Winter Soldier attacks Black Widow and Cap takes the cake as the best and most impactful sequence in the film. The movie abandons the MCU's typical large-scale, city-destroying superhero action scenes in favor of a much more grounded approach, making the scene all the more impressive and intimate. The scene ends with Steve knocking off the Winter Soldier's mask to discover that the man he's been fighting is really his childhood friend Bucky, a man he believed to be dead. Bucky? Number 7. Chase Through Nueva York Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. So I had to end like this, kid. I said not to call me that! <laughs> Led by Spider-Man 2099, an army of multiversal Spider-People chase after Miles Morales. Among them include the 1960s cartoon Spider-Man and Ben Riley, a clone of Peter Parker from the comics. Even more bizarre inclusions are Spider-Rex and Spider-Monkey. This sequence is more than just an Easter egg hunt. The chase is the film's most thrilling set piece and visually one of the best in the franchise. I can do anything he can. Oh, dang, I pulled something. For over 10 intense minutes, Miles races through a futuristic New York City, narrowly evading capture. 
It all culminates in a showdown on a train bound for space. Luckily, Miles gains the upper hand, giving him the opening to make a daring escape. Bye, Gwen. him how to do that, so I gotta be a pretty good mentor to pull that off. Number six, the battle on Titan, Avengers Infinity War. I think you'll find our will equal to yours. Our? Piece of cake, Will. This film gives us plenty of moments to choose from. The battle in Wakanda is one of the many highlights, especially because of Thor's epic entrance. But the fight on Titan against Thanos had even better superhero action. After the Avengers and Guardians finally come up with a plan, they manage to overwhelm and restrain Thanos with their combined powers. Magic! Four magic! Magic with a kick! Magic with a... When that doesn't go as planned, Doctor Strange and Iron Man take them on in epic one-on-one -on -one fights. The teamwork from our favorite Marvel heroes and the sheer creativity on display easily make this one of the best action sequences from the Avengers. <laughs> Number five, the Battle of New York, The Avengers. Avengers Assemble! This film is a significant landmark in the history of the superhero genre. In this scene, the first time our heroes join forces to become a real team is a big part of its legacy. For lifelong fans and newcomers alike, the long-awaited live-action team-up of this iconic superhero group more than delivered. Dr. Banner, now might be a really good time for you to get angry. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. The grand sequence takes place across Manhattan, with the impending threat of an alien invasion by the Jatari raising the stakes and presenting our heroes with seemingly impossible odds of saving the city. No character is shortchanged in the scene, and the camaraderie and banter between the group came off as completely authentic. Fans couldn't wait to see more. What just happened? Please tell me nobody kissed me. Number four, the train scene, Spider-Man 2. You'll find everything you need to know about Spider-Man, his drive and unrelenting will to help people, and the physical toll that the responsibility takes on him are aptly demonstrated. Doc Ock sends a train full of people speeding towards their doom, and Spidey makes a desperate effort to stop it by standing at the front and webbing every passing building to slow its momentum. Sacrificing his own body in the process, Peter is shockingly unmasked, and the audience can see the intense expression of pain on his face as he exhausts all his strength to fight the train's force. This epic sequence concludes with the rescued citizens realizing that their hero is just a kid. Shocked, they promise to keep his identity a secret. He's just a kid. No older than my son. Number three, Logan's last berserker raid, Logan. Hugh Jackman's first R-rated film as Wolverine did not disappoint. Every fight had all the blood and brutality we wanted to see from the character, and it's especially the case in this scene. To save a group of mutant children from the Reavers, Logan unleashes his rage like never before. He cuts down every cyborg he comes across in a thrilling berserker rage. He even teams up with his daughter X-23, who also made a badass entrance earlier in the film. Together, they tear through the remaining enemies in a satisfying final showdown. The stakes had never felt so personal, as Logan wasn't fighting to save the world, but to protect the only family he had left. Get behind me. Number 
to. Airport battle. Captain America Civil War. Your judgment is askew. Your old war buddy killed innocent people yesterday. And there are five more super soldiers just like him. This scene is what dreams are made of for die-hard Marvel fans. You've seen them all fight alongside each other, but you've never seen them go head-to-head -head like this, at least not on the big screen. Not only were viewers blessed with seeing the original Avengers face off, they also got the opportunity to see franchise newcomers such as Spider-Man and Black Panther join the fray. Move, Captain. I won't ask a second time. The fight choreography, clever use of each hero's powers, and quippy dialogue works in unison to bring together what will surely be known as one of the most memorable scenes in MCU history. Uh. <laughs> Does anyone have any orange slices? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Everyone Assembles Avengers Endgame Avengers! Assemble. There was only ever one way the Infinity Saga was going to end, with Captain America leading the charge against Thanos. Nearly everyone in this splash panel gets time in the spotlight, from Black Panther tossing the gauntlet to Spider-Man, to Wanda nearly defeating Thanos by herself. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. You will. It's no exaggeration to say that each moment is probably someone's favorite from the entire MCU. And we're still not over the bittersweet death of Tony Stark, but it wouldn't be much of a grand finale if it didn't make you cheer and cry at the same time. When it comes to Marvel action, it really doesn't get any better than this. And I If you've seen every Marvel film, chances are there's a scene that you think should have made it. Let us know what it is in the comments down below. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.